Good afternoon, everyone. Afternoon, sir. Hello. Uh, okay, there are only two students, Saba and Saroj. Okay, let others join first. Is my screen visible to everyone? Yes, sir. Okay. So only six are there so far. Okay, let us start. So is there any question or any comment on last lecture? So did you try to find the dimension of uh, the space of matrices in cross and matrices whose trace is zero? Did you find that? Anyone? Apne usko koshish kari kya? Okay, so uh, I'll give you a hint and then uh, we will move ahead and later, uh, uh, I don't know when, but yeah, in uh, coming lectures, we will answer uh, this question, okay? So here is a hint. So first let me write what was the exercise. I think it's not visible for you. So, So exercise says, suppose we have a metric, uh, so, uh, we have a vector space M and R, where M and R is the N cross N. So this is a space of N cross N square matrices. Okay. Square matrices. And suppose we have this this space W, where W consists of those those matrices whose trace is zero. Question was find the uh, dimension. So what is the dimension of W. Okay, so, uh, so far what we have seen is, we have seen that dimension of, is it visible? This color is visible, is this color visible? Yes sir. Yes. So this blue color is visible to everyone, is it? Uh, Dimension of this is, I think, more appropriate colors. This is good. Dimension of M and R. What was the dimension of M and R? M and R ka dimension kya tha? Koi ek batayi, boliye. 
देखिए आप लोग जब बोलेंगे तो ही सीखेंगे मालूम है चुप रहने से नहीं सीख पाएंगे हो सकता है गलत बोले कोई बात नहीं गलत गलत तो बोलते हैं ना बहुत बार गलत बोलते हैं हमको नहीं मालूम होता लेकिन हम चीजों को अगर हमने पहले पढ़ा है तो आपको याद होगा अगर याद है तो बोलिए नहीं याद है तो ये बोलिए कि ठीक है नहीं मालूम है लेकिन मैं ऐसा सोचता हूँ या ऐसा सोचती हूँ कि इसका डायमेंशन इतना होना चाहिए उसके लिए कोई रीजन बताइए लेकिन पार्टिसिपेट पार्टिसिपेट कीजिए क्लास में ओके चलिए बताइए डायमेंशन क्या था एम एन आर का हेलो हाँ ये 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 सर क्या 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 बोले हेलो एन ओके आपने एन बोला जी सर हाँ एन देखते हैं एन है या नहीं है आपको याद है कि हमने एक बेसिस बनाई थी इसकी एम एन आर के लिए एक बेसिस हमने कंस्ट्रक्ट की थी जिसका नाम हमने ई वन वन ई वन टू ऐसे दिया था तो ई वन एन ई वन वन मीन्स सो आई एम राइटिंग इट हियर ई वन वन वॉज दी मैट्रिक्स वन जीरो जीरो ऑल दीज आर जीरो and here it is zero this is an n cross n matrix with entry 1 at 1 1 n so at 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 first row first column it is 1 otherwise uh, elsewhere it is zero so similarly we define eij it is it is 1 so where xij is Zero when I uh, okay and so x i j let me write it is one uh, i j at entry. Elsewhere, okay. Let me write it x not x i j. Let me write it at x mu nu. X mu nu. And define it like this: x mu nu equal to zero when mu nu equal to i j. When mu nu not equal to i j, and one when mu nu equal to i comma j. Okay, this is how we define uh, e i j. So e one one e one n. Similarly, e two one e two two e two n, and so on. E n one to e n n. This is the basis. So, how many, how many elements are there in basis? Number of elements in the basis. So, what is the total number of elements in basis? So, say this is B. Total number of, say matrices in B. Can anyone answer? कोई बताएगा या बताएंगी हेलो हेलो आशुतोष
लॉर्ड विलियम हेनरी हेलो क्या मेरी आवाज आप तक पहुंच रही है यस सर तो आप लोग बोलते क्यों नहीं है मुझे नहीं समझ में आता कि आप लोगों को आवाज पहुंच रही है या नहीं पहुंच रही है हाँ या ना कोई कुछ नहीं बोलता आप लोग बोलते क्यों नहीं है आपको अगर मेरी आवाज सुनाई दे रही है तो मैं ये पूछ रहा हूं कि इस सेट बी में टोटल कितने एलिमेंट्स हैं नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट्स इन द सेट बी एन होगा एन है क्या क्या सो so, एन तो यहीं पर हो गया फर्स्ट ई वन वन ई वन टू ई वन एन टोटल एन ये है फिर एन ये है ऐसे करते करते टोटल कितने एलिमेंट है सर एन एन प्लस वन एन स्क्वायर टोटल एन स्क्वायर तो टोटल नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट्स इन बी इज एन स्क्वायर ओके तो टोटल एन स्क्वायर टर्म्स है सो एलिमेंट्स हैं बी में देर फोर डायमेंशन ऑफ एम एन आर इज एन स्क्वायर सो वी वर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट डायमेंशन ऑफ डब्ल्यू डायमेंशन ऑफ डब्ल्यू सो द कैंडिडेट फॉर बेसिस ऑफ डब्ल्यू so w is okay let me write uh, one arbitrary uh, element of w so it would be like this x11 so x12 x1n x21 x22 x2n so on xn1 xnn but there is a A condition on this, so such that x one one plus x two two plus so on plus x n n equal to zero. Okay, so from here what we observe is we observe that e one one. So this was the basis. This spans e one one, e one two. E one n uh, at the end e one e n n it would be a basis if there is a relation between them. So what is the relation? So the only condition is on the diagonal entries here. Okay. So let us. See only diagon. So uh, the candidate candidates for diagonal entries. Let's see them. So we have e one one, e one two, e n n. This is zero. Okay. So from here, what we observe. So if we replace e n n. So if we know e one one two e e uh, let me write it here e n minus one n minus one if we know these entries then I must know this one because it is given by this formula. Okay. So, so the only, so the 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 only thing uh, which is okay. Or choices for, so you have freedom of choices. How many freedom of choices you have? So, so for E one one you have freedom of choice. For E one two, there is. Choice, except this last one. Okay, if you know e one one to e n minus one to n minus one, then you must know e n n. So for e n n, 
there is no choice. So, so you have how many choices? So for this you have a choice. For this you have a choice. For this you have a choice. Then up to e n minus one n minus one you have choice, except this thing. Here you don't have any choice because it is you know. If you know E11, E22, E33, and E n minus one n minus oh, what I have written is not correct. If you know this uh, this matrix, then you must know E n n. So this is the this this will serve as a basis. Okay. So here I I give you. Uh, to think about even one. So okay, let me write it again. E, think about E I J where I J not equal to N comma N. Okay. And E N N equal to minus I equal to one two n minus 1 eii so think about this and from here you observe total freedom of choices is so this whole set has n square terms and you don't have any choice for this so there are how many freedom of choices do you have only n square minus one. one okay is it clear? So therefore dimension of W is n square minus one. Correct? Let's see uh, other results in this direction. So let's see, see a theorem. So now what we do, so uh, so far we have seen that uh, uh, we have seen dimension of uh, vector space, dimension of subspace, basis, linear independent set, all these things we have seen. So let us see, okay, okay, let me give you, uh, first I, so, uh, so a geometric thing, then we will discuss about uh, a theorem. So let's consider vector space R3. So this is R3. And let us take a one dimensional subspace. Okay. So here is a one dimensional subspace. It comes like this. Uh, no, not good figure. So say, say this is a one dimensional space. So if this is a one dimensional space, then you know there is a uh, vector in the subspace which spans this linear subspace. Say this, this is V, suppose this is V. Okay. Suppose this is V. V is the basis, this V is a basis of this 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 subspace say l is a basis of is a basis of l okay then uh, question is is there a basis of r3 which contains this set okay in other words, can we extend, can we extend so B, can we extend B uh, so that, or, or in, okay, let me write it in other way, does there exist a set B1 such that this B is a subset of B1 
and B1 is a basis of R3. Okay, so we will answer this question via the following theorem. So this theorem says, let V be a vector space of some dimension, say dimension N. So it's a finite dimensional vector space and let W be a space of V with dimension k, small k, okay? Be a subspace of V whose dimension is small k, okay? Then any basis, so W is a subspace of V with dimension k, this means W has a basis, uh, basis B where there are k vectors in B, okay? Then any basis of k, so there are k elements, W1, W2, Wk of W can be extended to a basis V1, uh, V2, Vn V where, where this V1 equal to W1, V2 equal to W2 and up to Pk equal to Wk. So first k entries are w1, w2, wk, and others are vk plus 1 to vn. So can we do that? So this term says, yes, we can do that. And let's see a proof of this term. OK, let's do this. Clearly, W is a subspace of, uh, so since uh, W is subspace, so W is a subset of V. OK, so since W is subspace, it is a sub subset of V. If somehow W equal to V, then there is nothing to prove because in this case, V1 equal to W1, we, you can take this as a sub, as a basis of V. Then there is nothing to prove. Okay, therefore, let us assume that, assume that W is a proper subset of V. So this means there exists, assume that this, so this implies therefore there exists some point, at least one point, V say Vk plus one which is in V, but which is not in W. And so we write it V minus W. So now we claim, so we claim that even, uh, okay, we claim that W1 to wk comma vk plus one. Now what we have done, we added this vk plus one to the basis. Okay. We included this, this vector into the basis. 
So our claim is this set is linearly independent. Okay. So see uh, what 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 is our aim? Our aim is to find a basis for v. Okay. So what we do? Uh, we had basis. We will so say this is basis of uh, okay basis of w and dimension of w is small k. So if you remember, uh, if you remember at the last result that we have proven, so if this this set is linearly independent, then this set will be a basis for a subspace of dimension k plus one. So we will, in each step, we will extend, uh, we will extend the dimension of subspace, okay? And this subspace surely contain W because W1, W2, WK are elements of basis, okay? So it will surely contain W so we will extend each time we will extend the dimension and we will uh, terminate this process if the, the the process will termin will be terminated after a certain stage because it is a finite dimensional space okay so so let's first prove this so you know how do we prove such uh, such things so what you do you take a linear combination of this set, say then alpha k, alpha k plus one, wk plus one, sorry, this is vk plus one, vk plus one to zero. Okay, so what you do, so assume that this is not linearly independent, so this means we have this thing and there are some alpha i's which are non-zero. Okay, let me write, uh, claim this is linearly independent, assume not. Assume not, so it is not linearly independent, then we have this thing for where, where these alpha, sum of alpha i, where some alpha i's are non-zero, okay? So first we claim that, so assume this, now we claim that, let's see what is this alpha k plus one is. So if alpha k plus one equal to zero, then what you get, you get alpha one w one plus alpha k w k equal to zero. But you know w one w two w k this is the basis for W, capital W. Therefore, it is linearly independent. Basis are linearly, basis is linearly independent set, okay? This means alpha one to alpha K, this is zero, okay? Correct? And from, uh, okay, so, so what you get, you get a contradiction to which fact? To this fact. Here you choose alpha i non-zero for some i, but here you are getting if alpha k plus one is zero, then all alpha i's are zero. So this is a contradiction. So this means alpha k plus one is non-zero. Okay, here we are getting a contradiction. So let's assume next thing that alpha k plus one is non-zero. So if alpha k plus one is non-zero, then you may write from this linear combination, alpha k w k plus alpha k plus one, v k plus one equal to zero, you will get this implies alpha k plus one, v k plus one equal to 
minus of common W1 alpha KWK and therefore VK plus 1 is written in this form in the linear this is the linear combination of this W1 to WK H alpha k plus one inverse alpha k w k. So this v k plus one is a linear combination of w one to w k. But you know w one w two w k is the basis of capital W. So this means v k, which is linear combination of elements from bases, is an element of W. This implies vk plus 1 belongs to w because it is a linear combination of bases which is not true see here this is not true because from here we have vk plus 1 is not in w which is again a contradiction a contradiction right so this means our assumption is wrong and and this this implies this then implies w1 to wk vk plus one is linearly independent okay now assume yeah uh, now assume that we call w1 the subspace generated by this basis, okay. So this is a span of W1 to WK, VK plus 1. So define this as span the spaces. Okay. If W1 equal to V, then we are done. Okay. Then we are done. If not, if W1 is a proper subspace of W, then again there exists another element, K plus 2, which is in V, but not in W1. Do you see this? Okay, and clearly we kept see all these elements W1, W2, WK, VK plus 1, they are in W1. And there is one element VK plus 2, which is not in W1, but it, it, is, in, uh, it is a vector of V. Okay, then, then, then we consider this set. Now you may guess what which set I am talking about. I will add this VK plus two here. I will include this. Okay. So consider this and prove that this set is linearly independent. So same way you will prove it. By proof set is linearly independent, you can prove this set is linearly independent. Okay? So, again, take W2 equal to span of W1, W2, WK, VK plus one, VK plus two, okay? So this is the subspace. If W2 equal to V, then we are done. Otherwise, the same process, okay? So we continue this process. Continue. Process 
And since V is of finite dimension, this process will terminate. Terminates after a certain number of steps. Okay. And this and this in fact this process is the uh, this process stops exactly exactly after r steps where r is dimension of v minus dimension of w okay r number of steps it will take so at the end of r step you will have therefore at the end of r steps we have the set VK plus one to VK plus R, which is linearly independent, linearly independent set. And if you see total number of elements there, the the number of elements are k plus uh, okay k plus r k plus r is n and you have already seen the theorem where you have uh, so what the theorem says theorem says if the dimension of a vector space is n then any any set containing n vectors, which is linearly independent, will be a basis of the vectors of the vector space. Therefore, this set is this set is basis. This this set contains n vectors, and these are linearly independent. So, therefore, one two W K. K plus one to K plus R is the base of V. Do you see this? Do you understand? Some my eye here. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Some of my eye. I'm the process both easy. I'm going to take some space given. I'm going to take some space given. I'm प्रूव करना है कि हम इस बेसिस को एक्सटेंड कर सकते हैं टू अ बेसिस ऑफ प्री ओरिजिनल वेक्टर स्पेस ओके क्या किया हमने कुछ हमने बहुत कुछ नहीं किया हमने माना कि अगर द, द, जो सब स्पेस गिवन है वो वेक्टर स्पेस के बराबर ही है तो कोई भी चीज प्रूव करने के लिए नहीं है यही बेसिस काम कर जाएगी अगर ऐसा नहीं होता अगर जो w है वो एक प्रॉपर सब स्पेस है v का तो v के पास कोई एक ऐसा एलिमेंट जरूर होगा ऐसा वेक्टर जरूर होगा जो w में नहीं होगा ओके okay? हमने उस एक वेक्टर को बेसिस के साथ अटैच कर दिया उसमें इंक्लूड कर दिया ओके okay? क्योंकि वो वेक्टर w में नहीं है और अब हम देखेंगे कि w1 w2 w k के साथ जो ये नया वेक्टर ऐड किया है क्या ये लीनियरली इंडिपेंडेंट है हमने सो किया हाँ ये लीनियरली इंडिपेंडेंट है हमने इसका स्पेन दिया जो फिर से एक सब स्पेस देखा ओके अगर ये जो नया सब स्पेस है ये वी के बराबर हो जाता है तो वेल एंड गुड वी आर डन अगर ऐसा नहीं है तो फिर से वही प्रोसेस यूज करिए एक ऐसा वेक्टर मिलेगा जो वी में है और जो नए वाले सब स्पेस में नहीं है फिर हम उसको एड कर देंगे 
इंक्लूड कर देंगे शायद जो जो नया बेच चीज बना है और फिर हम देखेंगे फिर से ये लीनियरली इंडिपेंडेंट है इसका स्पेन लेंगे और ये प्रोसेस हम करते जाएंगे ये प्रोसीजर फॉलो करेंगे ये ये प्रोसीजर एक समय बाद अंत जरूर होगा क्योंकि क्योंकि हमारे जो वेक्टर स्पेस है वो फाइनाइट डायमेंशनल वेक्टर स्पेस है तो ये स्टेप ये कुछ स्टेप बाद रुक जाएगा और हम एग्जैक्टली कहाँ पर रुकेंगे आपने देखा है एग्जैक्टली आर स्टेप पर रुकेंगे जहां पर आर जो है वो डायमेंशन ऑफ पी माइनस डायमेंशन ऑफ डब्ल्यू ओके सो अगर हम यहाँ पर इसकी बात करते हैं जो हमने एग्जाम्पल लिया था क्या आप देख पा रहे हैं स्क्रीन हेलो यस सर क्या आप यस yes, क्या आपको स्क्रीन स्क्रीन में फिगर नजर आ रहा है आर आर थ्री वाला फिगर नजर आ रहा है यस सर ओके सो हियर सो दिस 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 इज अ वन डायमेंशनल सब स्पेस एंड द डायमेंशन ऑफ आर थ्री इज थ्री सो यहाँ पर दो स्टेप के बाद हमें काम हमारा हो जाएगा कंप्लीट सो फर्स्ट स्टेज में हम कोई एक v वन ले लेंगे से दिस इज बी वन विच इज नॉट इन दिस सब स्पेस एल ओके विच इज नॉट इन दिस सब स्पेस एल सो इट इज नॉट हियर सो वट वी डू वी विल इंक्लूड दिस वी विल इंक्लूड वी वी विल लुक एट दिस सेट दिस सेट विल क्लियरली linearly independent now what we do we have two vectors number one is this v number so we have two vectors one is this another is this vector v1 so we will we will see the subspace generated by v and v1 and we, what we will get is we will get a plane okay we will get a plane so like this we will get a plane okay oh oh sorry 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 so like this we will get a plane okay so this plane has dimension 2 this subspace has the dimension 2 this means there must exist a vector vector v2 which is not in this plane but uh, it is in in r3 say say here is v2 so say okay i so drawing in uh, in two dimensional sheet is difficult so let us assume that v3 is somewhere here which is not in 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 this plane then include this v3 we take v1 v2 v oh, sorry v2 okay now this v1 v2 v3 is again linearly independent and by a theorem that you have already seen since r3 is three dimensional and this v1 v2 v2 is v v1 v2 is linearly independent therefore it is a basis of r3 and we are done so there are only two steps okay here we have only two steps okay uh so uh after proving this we can answer this problem we be a finite dimensional vector space then we have the basis how do you see this so we is a finite dimensional vector space 
okay, if say if v is zero, then there is nothing to prove the because uh, empty set is the basis. So assume that v is non-zero on dimension of e is greater than or equal to one. Say dimension of v equal to n. Okay, then what you do, take any, any non-zero vector v, any non-zero vector, and, and assume that v where alpha is, alpha comes from the field k, in other words, this is L of v, or or this is subspace generated by v so this is a subspace of v is a subspace of v with basis v if v equal to v then then this is a basis Otherwise, you use the above theorem. So you have a basis of a subspace, then it can be extended to a basis of the vector space, correct? So this is a hint, please write a full solution on your own. Okay. Let us see another result, which is very important result. So if you remember, we had defined the A plus E. Let me first define A. So we had two sets, A and B. So how did we define A plus B? A plus B is all those elements of the form A plus B. B A comes from capital A and the small b comes from capital B. So we have defined this. So in particular, if A and B is a basis, then then uh, this A plus B is again a sorry. What I sorry I I I uh, what I said was wrong. I think, uh, so uh, let me say it again. If A and B are subspaces of the vector space V, then A plus B is again a subspace of vector V, but A plus B contains A and B both, okay? So in fact, uh, A plus B will be a subspace generated by capital A and capital B, okay? So let's uh, see a theorem which gives the dimension of A plus B. So here is. Uh, here is the theorem. Let W1 and W2 be two subspaces. W1 and WB subspaces of a vector space vector space V. Okay. Then there is very nice relationship between dimension of W1 plus W2 and dimension of W1 and dimension of W2. Then dimension of W1 plus W2 equal to dimension of W1 plus dimension of W2 minus dimension of W1 intersection W2. Have you seen uh, such thing before? Such a relationship? 
remember have you seen somewhere such a relationship yes uh, have you seen this in your set theory in uh, uh, in in intermediate classes course on set theory so elements of uh, number of elements on w1 union w2 okay okay let's prove this proof of this theorem so which one is the uh, here clearly w1 intersection w2 is subspace of w1 and it may be equal to you know this Okay, this is uh, clearly true. Correct? Now we start from here. Okay. Take a basis of W1 intersection W2. Since this is a subspace, let I, I from 1 to K, BS is of W1 intersection W2. What you do using a theorem, extend this U1 to UK, then V1 to VM is a basis. So, so extend this to a basis of W1. I, I want to K to uh, basis this of W1 and similarly you can extend this to a basis of W2. Okay. Now you have basis of W1, you have basis of W2. Now prove some of proof that u1 u2 uk v1 v2 vm and w1 w2 wk wn is a basis of w1 plus w2 okay for this what you do first prove U1 to N, V1 to Vm, W1 to Wn is linearly independent. Independent. Okay. Let's prove this. And then prove that any element, any arbitrary element, second thing, any arbitrary Element x in W1 plus W2 is uh, uh, okay, can be pressed a linear combination. You want to UK. W1 to Vm and W1 to Wn. This is easy to see 
because x can be written as w1 plus w, uh, okay don't write w1 w2 say uh, because i have written w1 plus w2 here so write x as uh, say Okay, what should we write? U V W X. Okay, say Y one plus Y two. So X is Y one plus Y two, where Y one comes from W one and Y two comes from W two. But you know Y one be written as since Y one comes from W one, Y one can be written as a linear combination of of this part, so this is linear combination of u1 to uk, v1 to m, and this thing is linear combination of u1 to uk and w1 to wn, okay? When you add these two, this will be common thing you will add them up and finally you will get a linear combination of u1 to uk v1 to vm and w1 to wn this way you will find thus that every element of x and arbitrary element of v1 plus w2 is a linear combination of this set so having proved having proved these two things this means our claim is true that that the set u1 to uk v1 to vm w1 to w1 is a basis okay so so from here what you get is this thing so so this is the basis of w1 plus w2 so this means dimension of w1 plus w2 is is k so total number of elements are k plus m plus n this is equal to k plus m plus n okay do you see this yes sir ah so this means the, so so uh, and and dimension of w1 is k plus m dimension of w2 is k plus n you multiply when you add these two dimension of w1 plus dimension of w2 you will get k plus m plus k plus n so which is 2k plus m plus n okay when you subtract this from dimension w1 plus dimension w2 okay sorry so what you get is k plus m plus n minus k minus m minus n got cancelled this got cancelled and 2k minus k is k which is dimension of w1 intersection w2 and our claim is so so the theorem is true okay it is done now any question No, sir. Okay. Do you see uh, what what happened at the end? Do you understand this? Okay, then. So I'll stop here. If there is no question. So uh, tomorrow there is no class. So we will meet on Thursday. Okay. Okay, sir. Uh, hello. Ah, uh, uh, yes. 
सर्कल हॉलीडे है कि नहीं कल मेरे साथ आपकी क्लास नहीं होती ना कल वेडनेसडे है ओके सर कल मेरे साथ आपकी क्लास नहीं है हम लोग थर्सडे में हम लोग मंडे मंडे ट्यूसडे थर्सडे फ्राइडे ओके एनी अदर डाउट क्वेश्चन देन आई लीव यस सर नो 